<laughs> but it's time to play Would You Rather. All right, it's time to play Would You Rather, Mark. Okay. You're in the hot seat. I don't know that we've ever done one just one-on-one here before. Usually it's a competition. I don't know what we're doing. But uh, we're going to play a one-on-one Would You Rather here. Uh, What are the rules? How does it work? Well, we all know how this is played. People send me Would You Rather scenarios to our Twitter, which is at CBBWYR. Please do not send them to my Twitter, which is at Scott Ackerman, because otherwise they'll go into the Would You Rather pile. And we all know the Would You Rather pile is not a pile of Would You Rather scenarios that I'm going to use, like a wood pile is Uh full of wood that you're going to use sure. in your fireplace. Sure. It's actually a pile of discarded would you rather scenarios. That's sad. Yeah, it's yeah. sad. To, yeah, you don't want them in there. <laughs> so send them over to me. Uh, uh, people send them to CBBWIR. I will read it out loud. Mm. I will open up the floor for questions, uh-huh. after which you can ask me any question about either of the two scenarios in order to help narrow down your choice. There's a lot of information that I know that isn't contained in the question, just okay. about the, the, the various okay, details. Okay, okay. I will then close the floor for questions, after which I will take no more questions. And it will be abrupt, Mark. I will abruptly close that floor for questions. So if you have a question, you need to get it in ASAP. Okay. All right? Then you will vote. I'll tally up the points. I'll assign a winner, which will probably be you because you're our only player today. But, you know, maybe What about the sound guy? Yeah, Frank could play. I don't know. Nah. Uh, <laughs> Frank, the light went on in your eyes. Of, is this my big moment? You're not ready for it. See? You're not ready. That's the whole lesson of today's well, show. I, it was a slightly sort of self-doubting light. It was sort of like, really? I don't know. Nah, okay. <laughs> I don't, All right. Here we go. This comes to us from Joe Cannon, a.k.a. I kind of like Joe. Mm. Joe asks, would you rather live in a world where cars are run on semen, mm-hmm. or where everyone loves the Star Wars prequels more than the originals. Hmm. All right. Well, okay. I have a couple questions. Unfortunately, I've not opened the floor for questions. I'm sorry. And you ahead. heard the rules. So I'm assuming that you're just uh, some sort of scofflaw. I, I thought you said I could eat. After I opened the floor for questions. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You, you were present while I was. Yeah, I was, but I mean, I don't have to decide until I can ask questions, right? I opened the floor. Okay, all right, relax. Is, did you just do it? Or? I just did it, yeah. Oh, okay. That was it. So now, uh, these cars that run on semen, yes. would, would we have to self-produce the semen that our cars run on? Because that would be taxing. No, you you are allowed to gather semen from any source. What does that gather you mean? Is there going to be semen stations? <laughs> <laughs> Much like uh, where, you know, there are electric where, plugs and parking lots. Wouldn't do something like that. Some guy just comes out and fucks your car. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, it is all human semen. It's You cannot gather horse semen or any other kind of uh, uh, mammal semen. It's it's merely... But yes, there are stations... Uh, there, there becomes sort of a, a prostitution type ring where uh-huh. you'll see like over on 53rd and 3rd, you'll see guys like with one leg, you know... Right, so you could either go to the station or you could go to Joe... Who's yeah. always loaded up. He's loaded up. He's your guy. He's loaded up and he'll and, do it at a lower price. Right. You just pull into a bad neighborhood and he sticks his dick in your tank. <laughs> right. Exactly. Okay. Because semen, the prices of semen are so much more expensive than gas. The prices of semen, we're talking uh, probably $40 a gallon. So that would, would theoretically be a lot fewer cars on the road. Mm-hmm. And I'm thinking that the people that are actually you know, selling their semen or fucking your car in order for you to drive around mm-hmm. are not the, the best people in the world. So that would sort of maybe clean up the genetic sort of profile True. of the planet. True, although there would be a black market semen ring where you know people would be enslaved, I'm sure, in order I just, to I, produce I, semen. I think that unless, um, unless cities become you know, sort of smaller, more compact, or, or brought in, that, that we would probably deplete the country of semen pretty quickly and end and the species. That's we, why it's so expensive. That's, right, yeah. and there's an argument to be made that we're doing that with gas. So, right. I mean, some, in some ways it would be... You would think it'd be environmentally sound, but but then you have the other issue of, of there's just not enough semen around. And you are making a good point because after about 25 years of this, less and less babies are born. Exactly, it's a lot like a children of men scenario. Exactly, you know, where- and then like because the environment gets so, perhaps something will happen where cars will start giving birth to half human yes, car babies. That, exactly. Yeah, you're saying yeah. perhaps. No, that is actually what happens. <laughs> Is, and who doesn't want to see that? So if yeah. I'm really thinking about like a world where the prequels are more popular than the, the actual Star Wars movies, um, 
Yeah, versus like the possibility of half car, half humans running around. <laughs> I'm going to have to go with that. Well, unfortunately, you voted before we. I'm uh, sorry. No. Okay. Well, let's, we I'll take closed, it back. Let me rethink take, it. Okay. Take I'm going to rethink I'm gonna it. dock you some points though because I I, I count that as a pre vote. Well, okay. Let me do it like this. Like, let's see, Star Wars prequels. Now imagine or, the world with the Star Wars prequels because we have the half human, half uh, car people running around. It's like a lot like that movie Cars. Actually, the movie Cars, the mm, Pixar movie the that's Cars. A, that's a prophecy. That is prophecy. Yeah, because <laughs> it ends up there are no more humans around, yeah, yeah. but there's the world that all the humans have built. So that's yeah, why the cars yeah. in that movie go to airports and yeah. stuff like that. The world that the humans have built is there, uh-huh. but the half car, half humans are the only members of society anymore. And uh that said, in uh, so like, there's a possibility that the remaining humans might be enslaved. There are uh, just for their semen. That's true. In order for it's them, it's like to, a matrix kind of right. thing where they, they're harvesting semen. So, right. th- if you choose this world, you are basically choosing the human race to be enslaved by cars. Okay. Yeah. So and their semen harvested. And their semen harvested involuntarily. Like you can't yeah. even just masturbate to porn to give it. No, they they won't plug even plug you in. They won't even give you something that you enjoy looking at. No, no, no. They no, just, just basically like stick so- something up your butt, get yeah. you hard, and then just jacket, 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 jacket. Yeah, it's just yeah. not a fun orgasm. And you're like, at no, all. ow, not again, not again. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> exactly, yeah. exactly. Uh, so think about mm-hmm. that. But then the other side of the equation mm-hmm, is mm-hmm. you have the Star Wars prequels. Mm-hmm. Uh, are more popular than the originals. So basically, what does that mean? That means that people all over the have world have lost their moral compass, have, are stupid, <laughs> <laughs> and have lost their minds. So right. is that a world you want to live in? I mean, just think about that. <sighs> These are two terrible societies. Oh my god, I don't know if I can make a decision. You must first of all, you must be glad to be living in the world we're living in, which we're living currently. Because, I mean, when you hear about two... Yeah, there's very few people that fuck their car and very few people that <laughs> enjoy the prequels more than the movie. If you fucked your car, by the way, I want to hear from you. Yeah. <laughs> Call yeah, in. Yeah. If you get some guy out there that's like, my car's already running on semen. <laughs> I'm ahead of the curve on this one, Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> I've shut the floor down. Okay. There's no more questions. Okay. I told you I would do it abruptly. Okay. Okay. Whew. Boy, that was, that was really dramatic. All right, we're going to vote now. Uh, Mark, you've heard both of these scenarios. You've heard the details behind them. Yeah. How do you like to vote? In in the name of sort of protecting the human species. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Mm. Yeah. I I just for the entertainment value alone and the possibilities of a future that is so beyond anything I can really imagine. I'm going to go with living in a world where cars run on semen. Wow. So yeah. you would choose enslavement over the everyone else in the world being stupid. Because right. how would you live in a world where everyone is stupid and you can't talk to them? Well, I think that's a different type of slavery. Yeah. Uh, is the, the sort of lowering the bar. Like there's still hope. Right. There's still hope that some, some big-hearted half-car person – We'll find a pod, like a, like a, a semen a survivors, pod. Well, sure. no, just one guy. Right. And they, bef- they, they, they become friends, right? <laughs> so he becomes friends with the semen pod? Well, yeah, with the guy in the semen pod. Oh, okay. And he says, look, you know, you seem to have some creative ability. Mm-hmm. You know, we're, we're putting a network together. <laughs> and we want to do a human show for the cars. Yeah, for and the cars. And it becomes like sort of a novelty. Yeah, show. and we, we and we think you'd be really good at this part. We're going to let you sort of take some time off and keep your semen, <laughs> and you know, sort of get your your body together, you know, and, and build a. And we've got a character for you. You're you know, you're you're the 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 last human left. And so it's sort of like a Pixar movie in reverse, where it's humans. Yeah. And it's like you see humans walking the earth, right, and, and, the and that's a novelty. Are, right, right. See, right. I think that the possibilities for creativity are so much you know, better in mm-hmm. that world. Wow. And, and, the, and the possibility for, for anarchy and for real, for real humans. Change. To, yeah, for humans. Because to at least our minds are still there, and that's at least right. we can create, unlike right. this right. other bullshit Star Wars look world. Look what happened to Neo, right? Yeah, look what that's, happened yeah, to him. yeah. I yeah, don't, what, yeah. what happened? I'm not sure. Yeah, I, don't I don't understand know. the last one. <laughs> well, <laughs> Mark, it looks like you're our winner. Oh, Congratulations. God, That's, of course, how yeah. we play Would You Rather. That would oh, it'd be God. bad if I lost. Yeah. Good game. A little what? tight. You yeah. lost some points there, but yeah. good game. But I, I'm glad I came out on top.